Since the times of Christopher Columbus, the oceans have played a vital role in international law and for humankind as a whole. The oceans contain innumerable resources and, for example, uh, world trade flows through sea lanes connecting the various continents. The fruit we buy every day at the supermarket, the um, gasoline that powers our cars, have probably been transported by ship. Therefore, the question of who is entitled to regulate and to uh, exploit the sea is uh, fundamental to these days. For this reason, I chose to uh, study the historical development of the law of the sea, which is the uh, set of rules governing maritime interactions between different nations. I especially focus on the um, beginning of ocean-going navigation and the role that played in this development. As the first Europeans started to sail across the oceans, they felt the need of establishing a, a legal status for the oceans. I believe that uh, the analysis of how the first Europeans dealt with this issue can bring light to today's uh, situation, where in the end there is still this strong tension between sovereignty and freedom with regard to the oceans. In particular, I uh, analyze the genesis of these of two principles uh, dealing with the oceans. The first, the uh, uh, closed sea principle, under which it is uh, possible for states to acquire sovereignty, possession of the sea. And on the other, the uh, freedom of the seas, which includes the freedom of navigation, the freedom of fishing, and the idea that the sea cannot be possessed by, by men. The arguing between the supporters of these two opposite views about the oceans uh, later brought a compromise and a sort of widely accepted uh, law of the sea. I believe that uh, studying today uh, the arguments used to defend one principle and the other can be still uh, extremely relevant. Since, for example, we see that today there is this strong friction between freedom and sovereignty, for example, in the uh, South China Sea or with regard to the Arctic Seas to the north of the globe. Thank you.